<laughs> you ever thought to yourself, could you rebuild a motor with a 3D printed piston? I don't think so, bud, but here we go. <laughs> So as you can see, we've got a blown up quad here. This is one of the quads from our cheap quad challenge. Scattered a piston, things junk. What we also have is this badass 3D printer that is just very fun. Always looking for excuses and new things we can make with that sucker. So Steve had the question, I wonder how long a 3D printed piston would last in a real internal combustion engine? Obviously we know this is going to fail at some point, but like it's too interesting to not do. So uh, he's gonna print up a piston for this thing and we're gonna see if she runs. Yeah, will it even run at all? I'm just, I'm dying. I'm dying to know. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is the plan. Uh, <laughs> Steve, what's the plan? All right, so as you like to say, we grew a piston. <laughs> yeah, I look. I took a first look at this earlier and it looks like it straight up just grew out of the printer, little trees and stuff. Yeah, those supports are my favorite. So this is our first test piston. It took a little bit of work to get here. I got a couple of test prints going, or I have done yesterday. This is the diameter of the piston and the ring groove. And then this is the wrist pin hole. So I printed these. All these filaments, they expand and contract a little bit differently. So the dimensions you set them at never actually turn out the exact right dimensions. So I printed these, measured them up, and then adjusted my model over here accordingly. Wow. You're it's, telling me it's you something. made this design basically from scratch. Yeah, so I did this sitting on my couch using my coffee table as a workbench <laughs> with like a $10 set of Amazon calipers. So that's another reason we need to print a test piece because mm -hmm. who knows if like the wrist pin is actually in the right spot and all that. But you know, we'll find out soon enough. Once we get this thing in there and test it and, and see if it's okay or not, Got some much better filament to try. So this is a polycarbonate carbon fiber. Really? Yes, so this stuff actually has tiny strands of carbon fiber embedded in it. it helps with a lot of things and uh, polycarbonate in general will help deal with the heat much better than PLA. And that brings us to our secret weapon here. This is our Chidi Tech X-Max 3. Uh, I've had this thing for like a month now. I absolutely love it. It really excels at hard to print stuff like the polycarbonate. It's got a heated enclosure, it is fully enclosed. It's got a dry box in the back because uh, polycarbonate can absorb moisture from the air, which mm -hmm. will totally screw up a print. Uh, this thing is gonna make it super easy to get this done. It also comes with a uh, second hot end with a hardened steel nozzle. Because the thing about carbon fiber filament is it will just chew up copper nozzles or any normal nozzle, or aluminum, brass, whatever. None of them can take the carbon fiber. So once we get rid of that already, we'll swap out the nozzles, get a real piston going, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, Use this one. Oh yeah. It's not great, but it would work for us. That thing's perfect. We got the, got the piston off, got it all cleaned up. It's looking pretty dang good. So a bit of an explanation for the two stroke guys, if there's any out there. This is not a direct copy of the piston, obviously. There's some changes, mainly underneath. This thing's beefed way up. The wall thickness is way up. Got this part filled in solid. Uh, so I can't make this piston totally solid because this is a two stroke and there is air flowing through the transfer ports here. So I'm hoping I left enough space for that to work out. We'll see. I think since we're not trying to make a ton of power here, we're just trying to get it to idle, basically. I think it'll be fine. Uh, another difference is I only have one ring instead of the two ring here. I'm worried about this ring land in between being real weak. So I removed the bottom one. I pulled the top one down a little bit to make this dome a little thicker. Uh, that's something like race guys do. So I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue. Like maybe it'll lower the compression a tiny bit, but I think we'll be all set there. That's looking really good. Mm -hmm. I, it has a chance of working, I'm pretty sure. He is, I think it's gonna run for a little bit. 
Yeah, yeah. So I watch this two stroke guy on YouTube all the time called Two Stroke Stuffing. If by some miracle he sees this video, I would love to know what he thinks about this mess. <laughs> <laughs> you have put beyond more thought than I would have even considered into that. Like I made a cylinder thing that's gonna go in with a hole. Yeah, we've been done. So yeah, there's good thing there's, someone is smart. It's genius. <laughs> yeah. So uh, like I mentioned before, this is the test piston. I'm worried about this thing scattering a little bit and then sending the rod through the cylinder. So we might only get one shot. So we're gonna okay. wait to try to start it on the other piston. But I do want to put this one in there, cycle the engine, make sure everything clears, and then we'll probably do a compression check on it just for fun. Yeah, sounds good. Heck yeah. All right, so the piston fits on the rod perfectly. Perfectly. So now we're gonna see if we can get her in the jug. Oh yeah. Oh my God. That's yes. so cool. <laughs> it feels just nice and smooth too. <laughs> we should probably oil that cylinder slightly. <laughs> yeah, literally that sound is just the dry cylinder. Mm -hmm. That is super cool, honestly. I think it's gonna work, Doug. Oh, it's gonna yeah. work. <laughs> it's gonna freaking work. All right, a quick uh, check, see if we got clearance between the piston and the head. I think we'll be all right, but... Come on, baby, keep rolling. Oh, I think we're golden. Oh, we're good. Dang. That's at least three strokes in, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I think... <laughs> Plenty of squish clearance. Oh, <laughs> oh, it makes the sound. Oh, 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 yeah. All right, throw that bad boy in there. where this comes to play now. Okay. We're making compression. Okay, not a lot of compression. <laughs> still climbing. It's still climbing though. Okay, it's done. <laughs> we made a whole what? 25 pounds. Oof. Oh no, it's more than that. That is uh, 26? 35. I mean and holding. It was 35 and holding. That doesn't make a lot of sense. It could be because the reed cage isn't actually really bolted in. We could be losing a bunch. Yeah, it felt pretty good in there. Hmm. <laughs> it's gonna start. It's gonna yeah. start. Just we just gotta we just gotta go. We just gotta forge ahead. Yeah, here. let's just make that carbon fiber piston. Yeah, yep. we'll get it. And there it is, the final product. Hopefully. I rushed to get this thing started a little bit. I never completely dried the filament out perfectly, uh, but it made it through the print all right. So a couple of small differences on this one. After the camera shut off last time, we measured the squish, which is the distance from the top of the piston to the head, mm -hmm. and it was way too big. So I had a measurement off there. So I added 30, uh, 30 thousandths to the top of the dome, which is a, a lot in terms of squish. Uh, I opened up the ring gap a little bit because I was worried it was pinching on the ring and now allowing it to uh, seal on the cylinder. And I uh, made the diameter just a little bit bigger. Okay. So hopefully we get some better compression out of this one. Uh, we're pretty much just going to put it in and find out though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to try it now. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the compression is at this point. We just got to... We're trying it. Yep. <laughs> We got her all assembled now and uh, time for another compression check. Yeah, just see if those changes help at all. I mean, if not, no big deal, but might as well check it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at our previous numbers, we were pretty sure it would still run, but we're hoping for just a little bit better. Give it some more help. I have faith. It's going up. It's going over 50. I'm calling it. Come on. Oh. Come on. It is better. We are over 50 PSI, Steve. All right, all right. She seems to have settled at about 52, 53. So that's like 20 more PSI in the cylinder. Well, that's real bad, but <laughs> what can you do? It's also a dry cylinder. You know, I think it'll work, hopefully, anyway. Get some fuel and oil in there. She'll bump the numbers up. Dang, are these whole shots, Mike? Whole shots, dude. 
All the, all the grip. Well, this is it, so the big moment. <laughs> plastic piston, test number one. Dude, she's carbide, dude. Of one, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna go for it. it. May take a little bit of time to get some fuel in the carburetor, but we'll see. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. We're doing it already. Right. Oh! 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 Come on, baby. You want to go? Yeah. Come on. Sounds good. Yeah, probably not. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, it's starting to run there. Come on. Oh, it's going to be so bad. Come on. Come on. We got, we got smoke. smoke. <laughs> it's doing something. It's doing something. It's I can't tell choke, no choke, full choke. Yeah. I can't tell what's the right thing. I don't know. Nobody's done this before. So. Oh, come on, little chugger. Come on, give us something. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Should we just help it out with some starting fluid, maybe? Maybe. It's, I mean, it's making two stroke smells. It smells like something. burning plastic a little bit, <laughs> weirdly enough. Is that that smell? <laughs> Yeah, let's just see if we can get some, it's, fire. Yeah. some starting fluid. It sounds like it's got compression. Like it, it didn't go down. So. Just go right for the hard, dude. Just, just give her the hard stuff. Just give her the hard. <laughs> she needs a little boot. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Like, just real quick, the quad didn't run before, so like you know, it might not be the piston. It could be just the quad. It sucks. Yeah, it was a beat piece of crap. <laughs> like the the reeds were totally junk. They're like I should have checked them out beforehand, but I mean, what can you do? I think the starter fluid's gonna start this over. The brake clean or the carbine tip or whatever. I think it's gonna work. I mean, it was smoking. Yeah. You couldn't just spray it in here, isn't that the whole point? Uh, <laughs> isn't that a starting fluid port? I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it has a new filter as of 2011. <laughs> oh, that oh thing's good. Just broken in. Good thing they kept them records. It really helped save this quad's life. <laughs> Mike, can we hurry this up? This is a really bad side. Yeah, I'm trying, dude. All right, Mike. Okay. okay. All right, Mike. Everybody calm down. Ready? Come on, baby. Come on. That would be the worst starting fluid ever. I can't actually get it into the... Well, just I mean, that should have been enough. That should have been. It kind Maybe. of just sat in the air box. Like, I don't know what Maybe happened. we just <laughs> followed the plug. Well, that's possible, too. Was it a new plug? No, you're, you. Is the, plug, yeah. is the fuel on? Uh-huh. Yeah, fuel's on reserve. Yeah, well, at some point, it definitely hiccuped and tried. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right, Mike. Get out of here. What's that plug look like? I mean, it's got a little wetness on it, but it's not, like, soaked. There's no plastic on it, right? What's this? There's no plastic. There's no evidence of piston on there. I jiggled the wire, so it's got to be it. it helps. It's mm -hmm. got to be it. Choke that thing, Nick. Choke. Hit it with the spray again, Mike. It has definitely, def you know, gotten worse. It yeah, seems like not a great time. Let's just put this back on. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's probably getting too much air, dude. She ain't cardboard. Oh, she just all lean now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me that you sound better. Do something. What? There's probably some, probably some fuel. Probably some oil. Dang it. Hmm. I mean, all that oil is from before. Like, a really nasty when I pulled it apart. Oh, it poured out really bad. So. We just try starting fluid again. Might as well, well since we're here. Not, yeah. Dang it. That seemed like a lot there, dude. That seemed like a good spray. Dang it. <laughs> Interesting. So two yeah. so two things worth considering. One, maybe we're just we just don't have enough compression with the plastic piston single ring to pop it off. I don't know. That doesn't feel that likely. Second thing to consider is this did quit running. Obviously the piston was damaged, but we checked it. It still had significant compression and it did quit running. 
it's possible there's another reason why this is not running that we haven't uncovered. Makes sense. Yeah, because it's doing the same backfiring thing, or at least it was, that it did uh, on the trails when it blew up, broke the piston. It's yeah. probably just a giant pile. So I'm guessing the ignition <laughs> timing is not correct. That's what I'm wondering as well. We sheared a key or something of that nature. Hmm. All right. More investigation required, I guess. Dig deeper and deeper. Yeah, let's check compression again. Get out of here, son. Well, some stuff happened. Yeah. We found out. It's been a few days. So we got the piston out. Clearly there's some bad stuff going on here. Uh, combustion was getting behind the ring, just melted down to the nearest point, which is the wrist pin at this point. Uh, off camera, we did throw a real piston in it and the thing started right up. I guess no surprise. Made like over 100 pounds of compression, no problem. So next attempt on a piston, made some more changes, hollowed it out to make it look more like a normal piston, just in case the transfer flow was an issue. Put the double rings back on it. I tightened the ring grooves back up to try to stop uh, gases from getting behind the ring. Uh, I raised the dome even a little bit higher and I increased the diameter a little bit more. So now it's bigger than a normal piston, just so the piston helps to seal, hopefully, so it's not all relying on the ring. Mm -hmm. We'll throw it in and see. We'll check the compression like normal and uh, see what we got. Yeah, it seems like all good things. This is it. This yeah. is the one, boys. Also, that piston looks so good. The it looks excellent. The fresh filament really helps, so. It's gonna work. All right, 3D piston vi version two. 3D piston. Are you sure it's only version two? <laughs> well, <laughs> 3D piston uh, version 3.1.26.5 uh, alpha <laughs> going in. Product development, you know, is it's a complicated thing. Yeah, let's just skip there to this thing uh, attempting to run again. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what do you guys think is gonna happen? Is it gonna work? I, it's like, I'm giving it 35% chance of working, to be honest with you. I'm slightly more pessimistic. <laughs> I think about a zero, but you know, we gotta try it now. Yep. Come on. Someone's gotta have faith, I'm going 85%. I think it's gonna work. If it hits like three times in a row, we're calling that uh, victory. Animal. Yeah, three second idle, I think is what we uh, kinda right. settled right, on. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, oh. Come on. Yes, yes. There it is. There it is. There it is. Dude. Dude. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, it worked. Yes. That's a plastic piston running. Holy crap. Great job. Wow. Literally a plastic piston. Okay. It was actually <laughs> so, running. Too. I expected nothing to happen, so I didn't even put coolant back in it. So I think we should do that now. So we shut it off purposely because yeah. we yeah. knew there wasn't coolant in it. So yeah, I say we put coolant in it. Maybe we put the seat on it, and if it starts again, try to actually ride it. We need to see how long it'll ride for. Yep. For the world's shortest quad ride. <laughs> Whew, but the world record for the longest running plastic piston. Maybe. I think, most definitely. Nobody you else would have ever gone through the effort to do this, right? <laughs> Especially on a 400 Polaris, yeah. No Honestly, it didn't yeah, sound it's a, some sort of record. It sounded pretty good. It yeah. sounded normal. Um, it was shocking. <laughs> Once I shut it off, it took forever to stop, though, because the piston is so light compared to the flywheel. I assume that's why. Like it's logical. I shut it off, and it didn't stop spinning for easily seconds, which is really weird. But Whew. also cool. That was right. strange. Right. Seat coolant. Let's go again. Oh my god. That was sweet. That was sweet. Like even just the fact of it actually starting out immediately just shattering, that melting, like it actually started so much more than I expected. The I look of pure it. joy on your face when you started giving it throttle and it was wrapping up. <laughs> oh. Alright. So quiet. Oh, wait. Plastic piston runs good. The weather's a little rough out here. The wind's blowing, but it doesn't matter because we're about <laughs> to see if this thing will actually drive. I think we're gonna have real limited time here. So Steve's getting on the machine. We're gonna fire it up, 
and uh, then he's just gonna hold it wide for as long as it'll as it'll run. Yeah, just see what happens. Okay, I got a max speed GPS in my pocket. Let's see what happens. All right. I'm, I'm almost nervous, as dumb as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Come on, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> I can't on, believe man. that! I can't believe it! It's it's, it's working it's like normal! Good. Come on, baby. Okay, okay! Come on, come on, make it around here. Oh, yes. It. yes, it's still. It's actually oh, it's fast. Ripping. It's ripping. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are what you the? Kidding me? There's the pistons oh, starting to melt. I can probably. smell it. He's coming in hot. Come on, Does come it have on. Another hit. Oh, he's still got it. No it's way. Oh, oh, oh. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so come tough. on, come on! The old carbon fiber pistons getting soft. Oh, I can smell the piston. Did anybody expect it to last this long? This is incredible. It's still running. Come on, Oh, Steve. no, that might be it. That might be it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not oil coming out of the exhaust. That's just straight oh. piston. Oh, she squeaked. She squeaked. <laughs> way longer than I expected. <laughs> it ran for so long. That was great. I cannot believe Holy it. Holy crap, it stumbled the one time coming back. I was like, oh, that's the end. But she kept going for a while. It looked like initially oh. it actually had power too. Yeah, absolutely. Like it was actually running good. Like probably not all the power, but it was not bad. <laughs> I am impressed. Nice work, Steve. That that design, we got. We could just keep printing them and get you know, thirty seconds yeah. at a time. That's a great deal. <laughs> Super efficient. We almost have to take it back apart now and see what it looks like. Yeah, I very much want to see what that. Gotta see what like. happened to that piston. <laughs> yeah, Look at the wind. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, yeah. It's it's there's a lot of here. wind out here. I'm One sorry. One minute and twenty two seconds of runtime. Really? Wow. That's your whole video from oh, start. Oh man. Oh, yeah. I forgot speed, about the top, top out. Speed. On. Work. 42 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, you may not be able to see that, but right there. That's nuts. World's fastest 3D printed piston. Oh yeah, 100 percent World's fastest 100%. carbon fiber piston. Carbon fiber. Carbon That's 20% awesome. of that record. Well, it was 20 uh, carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of the wind. Let's yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. Well, there it is. I, I just, I'm, my mind is blown. I just can't, I can't think anymore. When you guys brought up this idea, I initially thought that, yeah, that's gonna work for a little bit. But then after that first iteration of piston just failed so miserably, I really kind of lost hope, but <laughs> killed it. You gotta it's, figure it out. Gotta send it a view way harder than I expected, honestly. <laughs> I mean. It was worth it now. It was worth it for sure. 
I don't know what to say anymore. My, I just, my, the concept I mean, of minute what 20, you can do with an engine yeah, so has been shattered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's just, 10 oh, seconds man. of idle time, a minute and 22 of actual run time. I mean, with, you know, combustion, compression, all that. I mean, that's. Like, this is a reasonably high performance two stroke. It's not like it's a five horse Briggs and Stratton. Right. You know, it's a real engine. Yeah, I think shift on these was like 8,200. Mm -hmm. Great grand. Somewhere out there, I mean, many times people have rebuilt engines what they thought was properly with the proper parts and they've not lasted that long. Yeah. <laughs> you mean one of my. <laughs> that's a great know, point. You know that's happened. We've probably seen it happen. Doug's talking about my old banshee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've been we've been here before. <clears throat> We're much happier this time, though. Yeah, it's time right. to see. Do what you want happened. me to do the honor so you can uh, see it first? Uh, nah, I can nah, pull it. Now nah, okay. we're going. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, she's a little sticky. Not surprising. It's probably a Oof. little deformed. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, there okay. it is. What? There it is. It. It doesn't have a hole in it or anything, right? I, it just slowly melt. That's that's, it's, it's intact. <laughs> Holy crap! We are missing a ring. That's exactly <laughs> how you would expect oh, yeah. it to fail. Too. We're, we're definitely missing a ring. Just outright missing one. It melted the top pretty uniformly and took the exhaust side away, which is the hottest part of the piston. Oh wow! Yeah, so the ring is in here, coated in plastic, as well as the spark plug. <laughs> wow. The, so the ring just it, it ejected from the piston and just stayed up there. Man, I wish you guys could smell this cylinder right now. Oh. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, it's wild. I mean, the piston held up. The skirts didn't crack. They're not really deformed. The wrist pin's fine. The wrist pin didn't move. Yeah, I mean, like this front edge, that just kind of looks like what a normal piston does when you burn yeah. one down. Like, yeah. that's. I'm pretty happy with this yeah, as it is. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's wild. Oh. Well, nice work. Great job. Thank you. Jeez. I, these little science experiments are just fun. Like, and we get it, right? From the start, we knew this was going to be something that was going to fail, but it was just fun. What and do you if mean? you don't like fun. I have to trail ride this Monday. Listen, well, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you want to trail ride it for 50 seconds, they'll print you another one. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, uh, don't try this at home though, because it, it doesn't last long. I think you should try it at home. If you like, like well, yeah. spending a lot of time on science experiments, you know, for your own enjoyment, by all means, do it at home. That's way better than being productive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that. That is yeah. it for that one. If you guys enjoyed that little experiment, if you got any wacky ideas for any other crazy 3D printed parts, uh, let us know. This is just a good time. And uh, yeah, until next time, you know, keep it 110, right? Just do it. Just do it. See you guys later. 110, Doug? 110. 110. I mean, I think you can say it both ways. We'll work it out offline. We'll update you guys on the next video. I think it's okay to say either, but talk to Nick Seuss. It's his saying, you know, it's not really for me to say. I say it's 110. Keep 110, you guys. I don't this know. Is I don't know. Let's keep a 110. See you guys. Oh, it's me? No. <laughs> <laughs> the behind the scenes of making this intro. Uh, did you ever wonder if you could rebuild an engine with a 3D printed piston? Ah, so run that back, run that back. 3D printed piston. <laughs> you ever thought to yourself, can I rebuild an engine with a 3D printed piston? I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs>